On to France for now. It's typically supposed to be the onset of pre-Christmas cheer on the streets of capital Paris. But this year, the mood is quite different. As the Yellow West protests continue across the European nation, there are fears of a massive shutdown for the coming weekend. Much of Paris will be on lockdown to contain what the protesters are calling the fourth act of rebellion. Prominent tourist spots like the Eiffel Tower, Orsay and Louvre museums are among dozens of attractions that will be shut on Saturday. Luxury boutiques, restaurants and private businesses on the Champs-Élysées Avenue and around the Presidential Palace will also remain closed. The shutdown has caused a dent in revenues already. Small retailers saw revenue fall of 20 to 40 percent last Saturday and hotel reservations were down by 15 to 25 percent. But there have been words of solidarity from the tourists as well. Take a listen in. Well, it's normal uh, that... Uh, the I think the French people say the same. Uh, they need to go to the streets to make their voice heard to the government to about uh, the failures and the problems uh, of the country Catalonia, and how to resolve a, this. In a, uh, uh, we're used to it. We're getting used to it. Here it's like it's new, and it's it looks like it looks like here there there more violence than in in our in in Israel when there violence it's like uh, they send in rockets and stuff and we have a, a, a defense here no defense options so it's more 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 scary. So what began as a protest against the hike in fuel taxes has spiraled into large-scale demonstrations with protesters demanding the easing of the budgets of hard-pressed households and an increase overall to the minimum wage as well. French President Emmanuel Macron is expected to make a statement about the protests next week. Let's take you straight across uh, live to Paris now, where our correspondent Elena Casas Montanez has been getting us the very latest. Elena, crucial few hours and days ahead for French President Emmanuel Macron. What's his strategy looking like in the face of the widespread agitation, which of course is tapping onto the larger uh, discontent against his reforms and policies? Yes, well, it's a very widespread discontent, perhaps not necessarily just aimed at President Macron, but at the political class in general and the, the actions of various governments going back decades. Um, but it's certainly true that Macron has become a symbol for many of the protesters of everything that they are opposed to. He's been accused of being arrogant, of being out of touch, of being unable to connect with ordinary people. And uh, while, of course, he was elected on the, quite a controversial reform program that he promised to, pull, to push through regardless of any opposition on the street, it does look like he may have to radically change course in order to calm public anger now. We've heard very little from him in the last couple of days. Uh, he did, of course, say that he was listening to the concerns of the French after last weekend's protests, but the government is clearly waiting to see how this weekend plays out ahead of a Macron speech that's planned for earlier next week. They have, of course, done a U-turn on the main trigger for these protests, or at least what was initially the main trigger, the rise in fuel tax that was supposed to come in on the 1st of January and which has now been scrapped. But as you were saying, this protest movement has become much wider. Its, uh, its aims, its demands have become much broader and the government at the moment has refused to change policy on any other matters. All right, we're going to leave it there for the moment. Elena, thanks very much, though, for that quick roundup of what the situation is looking like there in Paris and what Macron's strategy to tackle that crisis. It's a big test indeed for the French president.